The West was a, was a natural magnet for any adventurer, any drifter, anybody who was loose and didn't have at loose ends. So men came there from all over the world, not just from America, but from other countries as well. They came there from Australia, from France, from England. Uh, we had a man up in North Dakota called the Marquis de Moors, who built a, a chateau out on the Western Plains and ran cattle out there. A, a very handsome man. He even got a couple of gun battles. But he was a friend of Teddy Roosevelt also, or at least they were acquainted. And uh, there were others came. For example, a little known fact is that five of the men who died with Custer at the Little Bighorn had been members of the Vatican Guard. You never knew who you were talking to in the West. Once uh, up in, I think it was in Idaho, there were some miners sitting around a table and one of them had brought a newspaper into the area. And newspapers are very rare and hard to come by. So he was reading the paper aloud to all these miners while they were eating. And uh, he, he was reading everything to them because it was all news to them. And he came to an account of the rowing match between Cambridge and Oxford on the Thames River. And one man sitting down at the end of the table looked up and said, I used to row on that team. And he had. You see, but you never knew who you were talking to. It was a very, very cosmopolitan uh, atmosphere and people from everywhere and said no, nobody told who he was or where he came from. So they were just accepted as one of the boys. And the man you're sitting next to might have a title back in his own country. Over here, he was just another cowboy or another rancher. 